Hello and welcome again to Fox Comics in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. And we are unboxing this week's comic book order. And it is Tuesday, November 2nd. All of these items you see will go on sale Wednesday, November 3rd at 10 a.m. here at Fox Comics in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois, oddly enough. We're going to start this week with our manga and uh, trade paperback graphic novels. Uh, we're going to start with Battle Angel Alita, Volume 3. That's in. A nice box set from DC called uh, Girls Unite. And it has uh, Batman Adventures, Cat Got Your Tongue, uh, Girl of Steel, Supergirl, Batgirl, and Justice League Unlimited Girl Power. So uh, foxes are empowering the ladies is what we're doing. We're all about empowering the ladies. Uh, also from DC, uh, kind of a restock, but we're always tickled to get Sean Murphy's Batman Curse of the White Knight in trade papers. Here they are. I know several of you have been waiting for more Sean Murphy. There you are. Uh, also, from Image Publishing, Kieran Gillen's Die, Volume 4. And I believe this one's called Bleed, but uh, just a great series. If you're not reading it, do yourself a favor and grab it. Uh, and then we have uh, Ed Brubaker, Destroy All Monsters, hardcover. And uh, Sean Phillips doing the art, as always, and just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Love that. That's from Image Publishing. And then from DC, something Mr. Fox has waited a long time for. A Batman uh, graphic novel that is, the entire art is done by Lee Bermejo. And it looks like he wrote it as well. So I could not be more excited. I'm a big fan of this man's art. Uh, he does the variants for most of the detective series. Uh, uh, DC detect uh, Batman detective. And oh my gosh, just lovely, lovely, lovely work. So I'm excited about that. You can see the gothic look on the back as well. Just phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Let's get started with comics, shall we? We're going to start off this week uh, with one from Image Publishing, A Thing Called Truth, Issue 1. And uh, there's our variant for Issue 1. And there's another variant. I believe well, probably one of those is going to be the uh, retailer thank you or a 10 or 20 shot incentive. Aftershock is up next with a, a large format book called After Dark, a horror anthology, and it's got Jim Starlin, Cullen Bunn, Frank Thierry, uh, just a, a myriad of writers writing different stories. Looks really, really intriguing. And that's the A cover, and here's the B. Then from Marvel, we have issue four of Amazing Fantasy. And there's the variant cover there. And uh, then up next we have Arkham City, Issue 2 from DC, The Order of the World. Also from DC, Batman, Issue 116. And there's the cardstock variant for Batman 116. And uh, there is the 1 in 25 variant for Batman uh, 116. Also from DC, part of their Black Label series, Batman Reptilian by Garth Ennis. If fans of The Preacher will be uh, a Garth Ennis fan, I'm sure. There's the variant cover right there. And then there's the retailer thank you or the 1 in 25 variant. Mr. Fox is never sure of which ones uh, he ordered because that was two months ago. Also from DC, Batman Superman Authority Special. You must respect their authority. And that is issue one. And then a uh, beautiful variant cover there. It's a shame we've stopped doing covers of the week. A lot of people ask why we stopped doing covers of the week. And we had people file lawsuits that their, our list didn't agree with theirs. Or they thought we were uplifting objectification of women. Uh, Mr. Fox tend to vote for any cover that had like large breasts on it. So a lot of people got upset by that. So we just had to stop. The lawyers got too much of our money. So we just stopped and quit triggering people. Also from D.C., Batman... The Adventures Continue Season 2, and that is Issue 6. And just a great cover there of Batman kind of hanging between Poison Ivy and Harley. Uh, then from Titan Comics, Issue 9 of Blade Runner 2029. And there's the B cover for that, and that is just sassy as all get out. From Aftershock Comics, Issue 3 of Campisi, The Dragon Incident. 
Dark Horse Comics is up next with Critical Role Vox Machina Origins, Issue 4. From Image Publishing, we have Issue 9 of Crossover. From DC, we have Issue 6 of Crush and Lobo. Uh, from Marvel, we have Issue 3 of Dark Hawk. From Boston, I'm sorry. And then there's the uh, variant cover for Dark Hawk, Issue 3. From Boston, and then from DC, we have Issue 1 of Dark Knight's Steel. Kind of deals with a little bit of Batman, and then it's a lot of, like, um, soap opera. It's really kind of, it looks, it looks intriguing, almost like a general hospital comic. Kind of neat. And then there's the variant cover there. You can see a knight in shining armor, and there's another one there. Uh, up next, also from DC, DC Horror presents Soul Plumber, issue two. And there's the Soul Plumber, issue two variant cover. DC could have worked a little harder on drawing that, but that's just Mr. Fox. Up next from Marvel, The Death of Doctor Strange, The Avengers, issue one. There's the variant cover for that. Just beautiful, wonderful, just what it should be. Image Publishing is up next with Robert Kirkman's Firepower, issue 17. And then from Image as well, we have Frontiersman, issue 2. From Ablaze Comics, we have issue 1 of Gillum March, Laura, and Other Stories. And uh, there is the variant cover for that. And then the Virgin Store, thank you, although I'm not sure she's a virgin by that look in her eyes. Boom, boom, ah, I'll be here all week. Uh, up next from Aftershocks, we have The Heathens, issue one. And uh, be careful if you're underage, I think that one's rated R. Boom. Uh, Dark Horse is up next with Hellboy, issue one, The Bones of Giants. From DC's Black Label, we have Tom King's The Human Target, book one. And uh, there's the variant cover for that. Very intriguing looking, and I think this is the 1 in 25 variant, if I'm not mistaken. But as you all know, Mr. Fox is quite often mistaken, so I wouldn't hedge bets on it. All right, up next from Image Publishing... The Good Asian, issue six. That's the name of the book before you start getting triggered and sending me emails. Uh, DC, we have issue four of Icon and Rocket, season one. I love them in the Avengers and that uh, end game. That was really cool. Uh, and then the, the variant cover for Icon and Rocket there. I don't remember Rocket being that nasty looking. I thought he looked more like a raccoon, but who knows. Toots Pick of the Week, and we are legally still allowed to do Toots Pick of the Week because, frankly, Toot doesn't care if you sue her or not. Toots says, Ink Blot 13's Cover of the Week. She doesn't care what anybody else says. Don't ask me why Toot picks, picks Ink Blot all the time, but she does. Uh, then up next from Dynamite, um, this is Jennifer Blood, Issue 2, and uh, just a gorgeous Perillo cover. And... Uh, that is the variant, the B cover right there. Again, just gorgeous. It's a good book. I, I've always liked Jennifer Blood. It's a great property. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is the variant. DC is up next with the Joker Puzzle Box. And that is issue four. And then that is the variant cover for Joker Presents a Puzzle Box, issue four. DC again brings us Justice League Infinity, issue 5. AWA Upshot brings us issue 1 of Knighted. And um, there's the variant cover. A suspiciously familiar looking character on the front, but it's not a bat on his chest, so I'm guessing we're okay. Uh, Dark Horse. Brings us issue three of Last Flight Out. Uh, IDW and DC bring us Lock and Key, Hell and Gone, 
issue one. I believe this is either the variants or it's a reorder of more issue ones, first printings, uh, for people that wanted to jump in on Helen Gone. Uh, from Dark Horse Comics and Cullen Bunn, Lucky Devil, issue four. From Image Publishing, uh, this is round two of this comic, uh, The Magic Order, and that is issue one of Magic Order 2. There's one of the variants right there, and another variant right there, and you have another variant right there, and just because they could, there's another variant right there, and you'd think, boy, that's more covers than you need. No, then there's the gold version is right there. All right, also from Image Publishing, issue four of The Me You Love in the Dark by Scotty Young. DC is up next with Mr. Miracle, The Source of Freedom, issue six of the six scheduled. So this will be the last issue for a while of Mr. Miracle. There's the variant cover. From Ahoy Comics, or as we like to say here at the store, Ahoy Comics. Issue one of My Bad. And it has been Mr. Fox's bad all day, so I've used that term quite a lot, My Bad. And there is the uh, variant cover for My Bad with the chicken. Uh, then from Image Comics, we have issue one of Chip Zdarsky's New Burn, an intriguing looking book. There's the variant cover there. I love me some Chip Zdarsky. Normally has a good story for us. Dark Horse Comics brings us Orphan and the Five Beasts, issue three. Image Publishing is up next with issue two of Primordial. And, uh, Fantastic variant cover right there. Really well done. Fits with the theme of the book really well. Uh, from Image Publishing, also, we have issue 9 of Kyle Higgins' Radiant Black. And we have the B cover for Radiant Black, issue 9, right there. All right. Um, before we get started with Red Sonia, we would like to take a moment here at Fox's and acknowledge the loss of one of our comrades in arms. Uh, I'm just going to give her initials, but RS has missed horribly today. We wish she was here helping us unpack the order and check them in and do all that she does. And so we would just uh, let her know that we are missing her a great deal. Uh, up next from Dynamite, we have Red Sonia, issue three. And this is Mirka Andolfo um, writing this, so it ought to be pretty decent. And there's the variant cover, just fantastically glorious. Uh, from Oni Press, Rick and Morty, Rick's New Hat, Issue 4. And there's the variant cover for that. Uh, Vault Comics is up next, and it is Issue 1 of The Rush. And I just want to assure you, this is no fly-by-night comic. This is for the working man. As if it's 2112 already. Anyway, uh, from Nightfall Press, we have This Hungry Earth Reddens Under Snow-Clad Hills, or The Rush, is what that stands for. Dynamite brings us Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, issue one, with a Perillo cover. How can it get better than that? One of the variants is right there. And another variant is right there. And then another variant of Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, Issue 1, is right there. Image Publishing is up next with Issue 6 of The Silver Coin. And there's the variant cover for Silver Coin, Issue 6. Scout Comics is up next with Issue 3 of The Snatched. And then from Image Publishing, we have Issue 323 of Spawn. And the, variant, the McFarlane variant for that is right there. From Marvel, we have Spider-Woman, issue 16. And the variant cover for Spider-Woman 16, right there. Oh, that's the 30th anniversary of Deadpool's variant. IDW brings us issue 2 of Star Trek Mirror War. And speaking of Star Trek, up next from Marvel, we have Star Wars, issue 18. And uh, 
There's the Star Wars issue 18 variant cover and the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm's variant right there. And then yet another variant cover. I think that's Counselor Troy. And then we have yet another Star Wars 18 variant. And as if we weren't done, yet another. Up next we have from Marvel Star Wars Bounty Hunters issue 17. And there's their 50th anniversary of Lucas Films. And Bounty Hunter 17 variant right there. Also from Marvel, Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, IG-88, issue 1 variant. Variant, these are all variants that we, when we got the A cover, we were not sent the variants. And so they have sent us all the variants we were due. So all you droid lovers can see that we were very much all over all the variants for IG-88. So for those of you waiting for those, there you are. Um, and then also from Marvel, issue 17 of Star Wars Darth Vader. Also from Marvel, Strange Academy presents issue 1. And then we have uh, the Peach Momoko Stormbreakers variant for that. Dark Horse Comics brings us Stranger Things Winter Special. That's a one shot. And there's Young Love out in the garden. From DC, we have Superman 78, issue three. And there's Superman showing off for Lois Lane like he does. Uh, also from DC, issue nine of Swamp Thing. And then we have the Swamp Thing issue 9 variant. I'm just going to start a new stack. That's driving me insane. Also from DC, Teen Titans Academy issue 7. And the um, variant cover for Teen Titans Academy issue 7 right there. Up from IDW, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Best of April O'Neil issue 1. From Image Publishing, Two Moons. Issue 6, and there's the variant cover for Two Moons, Issue 6. And then we have from ARH Comics, Undying Queen, Issue 1. Small little publisher, we're giving a shot here at Fox's. Uh, from Dynamite, we have Issue 3 of Vampiverse. And uh, there's the Vampiverse Issue 3 variant cover, very nice. Image Publishing is up next with issue 26 of the Walking Dead Deluxe. And then the uh, variant cover for Walking Dead Deluxe is right there. And then Marvel is up next after that with Winter Guard, issue 3. Also from Marvel, Wolverine, issue 17. Uh, the Wolverine and Sabretooth Wolverine, issue 17 variant cover. The Stormbreakers... Wolverine issue 17 variant cover right there. Also from Marvel, X-Men Legends number 8. And the X-Men Legends number 8 variant cover. That looks like all of the comics for this week. We'd like to thank everybody that came out this last week for our homic, uh, Halloween comic book extravaganza. Uh, and, and the people that came out and trunk or treated on Saturday night, we'd like to thank them as well. And uh, we'll keep you abreast of upcoming events here at Fox Comics in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. Thanks and hope to see you tomorrow.